motivated lighting is the technique used to imitate or accentuate existing light sources. Motivated lighting is commonly described as light within a shot that can be justified. This approach to lighting allows the audience to believe what the world they are seeing. While it might look complicated to the naked eye, but in reality, it's actually not. With lighting, you can create just about anything in your mind projects towards your projects. That's why lighting is so subjective and it's so mysterious because it never goes planned. It just happens. The crazy part is that you don't need a lot of lighting to create a work of art. Maybe a practical one light that you own might just be enough. Let's go over these clips and get an idea of what I'm talking about. Let's check them out. So I had the chance to link up with my buddy Otto. He is a DP cinematographer from New York and very good friend. So we decided we we just, you know, had a conversation about lighting and, you know, what, you know, motivates him to do um, the setups that he does when he goes out there at work. Uh, he's a cinematographer DP and nine times out of 10 is just pretty much um, obviously story first and then freestyle. And it's crazy because I always thought that, you know, some of this, these things are planned out. I know story obviously is planned out. Obviously, you know, you have to follow the storyboard, etc. But when it comes to lighting, it's crazy because you can write down exactly what you want on lighting. But then as you progress in, you know, building the set, um, lighting it up, it kind of changes. Okay, um, I think we found something cooler. So we're going to use this. So that's why I'm, I made this video. That's why I'm making this video today is what is, you know, the best way to tell a story, you know, through lighting. And that's why I'm asking you guys, you know, my viewers and, and potential new viewers, you know, you're welcome to um, stay for the ride. But um, I'm always curious, man, because I know, you know, we, we, we go through a shot list and we come up with these scenes, but but I, I never see that the lighting is predicted. It's like you start one way and then you end up another way. So that's why I, I want to go into um, this video a little bit deeper. I want to go into um, these clips that me and um, my boy Otto, he's a cinematographer DP, like I said before. Uh, check him out if you need some work. I'm going to leave his Instagram in the description and right on the screen. Uh, great guy, awesome dude, um, workhorse, you already know. So we did the video we did a few shots uh we didn't name them per se like you know horror suspense and uh we just put you know moods because i mean that's what we came up with so let's check out a few of these um clips and see you know how these moods look uh maybe it's something that you guys you know you know are interested in doing uh by the way gear wise i'm gonna list everything in the description you guys go check that out and i could just tell you exactly we used a Nanolite Forza 300 as our main key light, but we use it a lot, you know, very different. Like if you guys check out this um, clip right here, uh, we did like a book light. So we took, you know, you know, Muslim fabric sheets, the unbleached, um, we just put it, you know, across the wall, uh, wall and then we put a quarter grid, um, you know, behind it, well, in front of it, that way it can act, you know, as a bounce back. So you get the warm look from the Muslim sheet bouncing into the quarter grid and the color that came up was so so awesome i mean check out this clip man i mean this was so awesome and we only used the only the forza that's pretty much it in that um scenario like as the main key light for that whole um section but then we used the aperture amaran and we just used it like a bounce back and we had it i think it was like um 50%. Um, the Nanolite, we actually had it at 60%. I mean, you guys know 300 watts is very potent and I'm in a very small studio and it, I think the results, you know, speaks for itself. Um, you guys can check out, you know, this clip looks you know, super awesome. I think uh, the color rendition, um, it, it gives you that nice soft filmic type of vibe um, by the way we use the black magic pocket cinema camera 6k you guys know that is my favorite camera to do these videos and we use the um sigma 18 to 35 
lens being that you know we just needed the room you know, you know wide angle and um i don't remember exactly what focal length we used uh, he was um otto was the one uh, filming everything and um so we were just taking you know turns i wanted to see how this you know the look will look with his skin tones my skin tones and honestly i think both results came out um, pretty awesome and you know especially right now going to this one through the stairs as you guys can check it out right here we were just setting up one nanolite in the hallway and um we you know we didn't put no only we modif modifier we had was you know the spotlight thing pointed it you know in between the crack of the door as you guys can see right here on my right you see you know the bounce back comes back a little bit to my face from the wall being the wall is white and i think it you know came pretty good i mean it's very it's a very low light scenario um by the way we shot everything in 3200 iso on the black magic which honestly i think it's a very clean um second base iso on this camera and um i mean check that out i mean i think it looks pretty good um some might say that it's underexposed but we was going for you know that type of move you know um it, we came in our heads like oh some horror type but i'm not gonna just say that because it's probably not but you know it was a cool vibe then we came up with this other shot right here and we just pretty much put a pelican case in the floor we just sat down and um we was kind of close to the wall so it wasn't you know no shadow that the field work and i mean this is a very small room but uh look how that looks i mean honestly i think and that was just a book like at this time we didn't we turned off the um amaran um the 100x we didn't use that one the bounce back we were just pretty much using the booklet the one that i said with the muslin sheets and the quarter grid and we actually lowered the intensity on this one to about like around 40 ish percent and honestly the results came out pretty awesome i mean you guys can check you know him right here his skin tones everything looks super great um you know this section right here is me as well and um i think it was you know Honestly, I think that's what I'm saying. This video is very, um, you know, funny to me because it's, it's true. It's like we had an idea to how to like this stuff, but we ended up doing it in a different way. But we kind of liked it the way it turned out to be now. And as opposed to the one before, we was trying to do we planned out. And it was, it was okay, but I think this one looks a lot better. And to be honest, it's just so simple to do this. And basically, like I said, one light maybe two with the amaran well obviously yes two and then just you know buying amazon muslin sheets and a quarter grid um i think i paid 60 dollars for that you know five yards of muslin sheets and the quarter grid was like 14 bucks it was like two yards i mean there's so much you know stuff you could do at home with just simple lighting and just you know a few fabrics and you could get something going and honestly obviously you guys know the pocket 6k it's a very inexpensive camera and uh, but it's so good we didn't put no promise or nothing it's pretty much straight camera and lens and that's it so in this next scene we try to like um mimic you know a like a documentary style and we also use just the same setup we use the booklet again you know the muslin sheets and um the light i think we lower the intensity this time i think more to i think 30 percent or 35 ish around there and look at the results. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. I, I, I dig it for a documentary style mood. And um, I'm not gonna say is that per se. I don't wanna get bashed in the comments, but you guys, you know, you guys get the point. It looks, you know, pretty cool. And then this last one right here, which is, this one was very funny because um, as, you, as you can see, this one was like, you know, we went back to the desk, but we did like a same angle. We did a little bit more close up. But this time what we did was we lowered the intensity on the booklet. I think it was like 25%, but then we, we put the Amaranth all the way 100% with the bounce back, but we, we pushed it further away and we got this look. And I think this looks pretty, you know, pretty cool. Um, if you guys notice right here by the tree, well, this fake plant, you see the light was there. Like, you know, you can see the reflection because I have a mirror right here. So I had to put like a power window and just pretty much tame it a little bit. But other than that, I think it came out, you know, pretty cool. And um, these are another clips that I was using from my previous video. Uh, you guys, you know, so, you know, one light, five different moods and um, like Rembrandt lighting, you guys know, I mean, we used 
I, will, I used only one light, which is the Aperture Amram 100X. So there's no excuses, guys. You guys can do a lot with just one light. It's just pretty much creativity. That's why I always say, why, you know, how to light a story, well, how to tell a story through lighting when it's just, it's never predicted. It's like, it's just, you start one way and then you end up another one. That's why I find it so curious because I want to see what you guys have been creating. Honestly, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been subscribing to the channel, by the way. Um, the channel is, you know, growing pretty cool, pretty fast. And it's thanks to, you know, you guys, you guys are, you know, coming back. I was looking at my analytics and I'm having 500 returning of my subscribers. And to me, that is very awesome to have um 792 subscribers right now i'm gonna say 790 ish because you know sometimes somebody unsubscribes or subscribe but i want to say thank you to at least you know you know you know you guys that are sticking around with me and seeing the potential uh, i'm not saying i'm the best by any ways i know you know have a lot more to learn but honestly i do these videos because I, I enjoy them i love film i love movies and I'm not saying that I'm a movie maker, you know, by any means, but I like to take inexpensive cameras and inexpensive lighting and demonstrate that I went through the struggles to try to get something filmic, you know, movie-ish. I learned everything on my own and and I, I thank, you know, this community and this platform to be able to, you know, share this with you guys because I'm only, you know, been getting better and I wanna get a lot more better and Honestly, I'm, you know, very open once the channel, you know, grows up. You guys believe in me more. We can do meetups and, and, and work together. Honestly, I really want to do that. So let's go back to another clip. I know the sentimental talking, but um, over here, this is another one I like. This is the one that I was saying. This is the overhead lighting. Uh, I like it because it's just, like I said, one light. Um, I used, I think, the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2, which is very small. I highly recommend that thing. You can fit that anywhere. Great softbox and you can do like an interrogation or oh, you can make a thriller out of that horror type of look um i think man lighting is lighting is key lighting is key and one more clip because you know just for the fun this one i like this is the one i did the bounce back i really love this one um you know as i approach to the camera you can see the seriousness um the soft lighting but it looks so so awesome and like I said, I, I don't have names for these moods, but you guys get the point. You know, you could, you know, storytelling through lighting is is, is is large, is big. So I just hope you guys, you know, sorry for taking all this time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's short. Um, it's very short and informative, but I just wanted to share, you know, I don't always want to make a video about tutorial, how to do this, how to do that, because you guys know how to do all these things. I just wanted to share how I've been doing it myself and maybe it will spark a, 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 a create, you know, a, a, a spark in you guys and start creating. Maybe you guys are in a slump or something and oh, you know, I have that light or I have this camera. Um, let me just make something out of nothing. And that's what I want to base my channel on, you know, inspire anybody out there just struggling with, you know, writer's block. In other words, I used to, you know, write music. So I use the terminology writer's block and that's when I, I can't create anything, but, um, I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, I hope you guys stick around, subscribe to the channel. Um, still doing that giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscriber. Still got the Amaran 60D still in the box, which is right here. Actually, let me show you to you guys. It's still here, guys, okay? Somebody's got to win it. Come on. Let's get to 1,000. And I'm going to pick one of you guys. So without further ado, be safe, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.